Hey guys, Sir back here, and today I am reviewing Fist Forged in Shadow Tactics for the PS5. Uh, just finished this game, um, and we'll get right into it. I'm going to go over the same five categories I always do. Graphics, performance, gameplay slash story, replayability, fun factor. Give each category a score from 1 to 10, and then average it up. And then after that, we'll, we'll talk about the game a little bit. But this is like uh, a platforming action game with some exploration, light puzzles. Um, interesting game. I heard about it on Med Metal Jesus Rocks. I don't know if it was a Hidden Gems or a Pickups video, something like that, a, a while back. It has a physical copy on PS5. Came with a steel book. Uh, really, really nice presentation. It's maybe like a double A game, but impressive. So let's get right into it. So graphics. I give graphics uh, an 8.5 out of 10. I think they're really, really nice, you know, not perfect, nothing like PS5 pushing or anything like that, no like ray tracing, I don't think, but it runs at like, I think a 60, stable 60, um, looks like 4K, but it looks great, um, that's really all I have to say about graphics. I do like the enemy designs, and I like the furtizens, as they call them, uh, the rabbits, the rats the enemies are all metal and metallic machines it's really cool so i like the the presentation the graphics 8.5 um performance I had no issues in this category whatsoever no crashes no glitches ran perfect the whole game was on the disc it seems like uh, great 10 out of 10 nothing bad to say about the performance um, I've said this before, but every game should perform like this. Come out and it's done, you know. Um, so, perfect. Uh, gameplay slash story. So, um, gameplay is really addicting. You know, you, uh, you're you constantly, like, improving, getting new weapons. You have, like, three main weapons. You have, like, a the fist, obviously, the, the one that's on your back. But then you get, like, a drill. And then kind of like a whip, I guess you could call it. Um Everything has its advantages, different move sets. Uh, it's almost like a fighting game. In fact, I'll get into that. They have a, like a section which is really neat. Um, the loop is, you know, you, you'll go to an objective, find something for somebody, go fight these enemies, open this door. Um, you'll find little hidden collectibles along the way that you can use to improve your character. And you can do as little or as much exploration as you want. In fact, I wrote that I've never played a Castlevania game, I know, but um, I think it's similar to that where you have access to different areas once you get new abilities. So uh, I think it's like that, but that's kind of the way it is. You'll come across something, you can't figure out how to get past it or whatever, and then you'll unlock a new ability a little later down the road. You use that to access a new area and find things that are hidden, so you backtrack. And you unlock like a fast travel system so you can travel back and unlock areas previously um, unaccessible <clears throat> or inaccessible. And what's really, really cool is after you beat a boss, you can go back and you log into this little computer. And on the computer, it has like uh, kind of it looks like a Mortal Kombat where you choose your character. Um, and right here is I'm learning how to like drink the, the rabbit juice or whatever to, to heal up. But anyway, back to the arcade thing. It, it times you. You can set different factors about like uh, limited HP. Uh, you can see the top bar. That's like the red is your HP. Then you have blue and then you eventually have like a an orange bar. Here's the map. You can see different areas you can travel to. And I think this is the arcade. So right here, choose your character. So cool. It adds to the replayability a lot. Game is beautiful. But anyway, uh, back to the gameplay. I love the loop. I love the bosses are insane and hard. And I love it. I beat it under normal. And I love, you know, Dark. I'm not a big fan of like Souls like games. I do like Demon Souls. and um, But I beat that with a friend. But this game is very, they have very difficult bosses uh, that get harder and harder. Like, I used to think this guy was hard, then I went and fought him back in that arcade style thing. You can refight old, old bosses and uh, use your new weapons and, and even old weapons uh, to fight him. Um, but anyway, they get so much more difficult than this guy. But I love it. I loved the game. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. 
but the story is also really great uh it's not as fleshed out as you know some stories you'll run into but it's it has a pretty cool story a unique story um and yeah it adds to the the awesome gameplay so i give it a nine and i would um, it's almost perfect but the story is not you know super deep so that's why i gave it a nine out of ten for that category um replayability like i say all the time i'm really hard on this category due to the fact that you know i may go back to this game and play it uh i love the arcade piece that they added where you can go back and fight old bosses and it times it um and it even has like a, a challenge i don't know if, it, if i showed that but it has uh some kind of challenge mode or, or tournament mode where it, it's maybe like a smash brothers thing where you beat this guy then you go beat this guy and you try to make it to the end I'm sure there's trophies that deal with that. So I gave this category a six because of that. If it did not have that, it would have been lower. Um, that adds replayability to this game. Um, so it's not a super long game, but it took me longer than I expected. I thought this was going to be a pretty short eight hour game. And I don't know if I just went through it slow or something, but it took me about 12, 13 hours to beat it. Um, but I enjoyed it. I never really got bored. Um, I loved the new weapons I would unlock, the new abilities I would unlock. Uh, fighting bosses was not easy, so you'd have to try. Uh, but not frustrating, you know, it's it's fair. The game is fair. So, um, replayability is six, because I might go back and beat the story once again, but one thing I would definitely come back to is the arcade version, because you could just pop that in and, um, and play that, and I think it's really neat that they added that. And maybe beat it under a different difficulty, probably to get the platinum, which would, which would um, be fun. Adds to the replayability. And my last category is going to be fun factor. Um, I was I just beat Final Fantasy 16, and that is a long game, grindy game to beat. I did every single side mission, so I was looking for something relatively short. In fact, shorter than this. I thought this was going to take me eight hours. It took me a little longer. But I was fine with it because the game was fun, you know. Um, is it the best game I've ever played? No. But it has uh, enough in it to keep you occupied, enough abilities to learn, places to explore, and interesting ways to explore. Uh, and that's what I'll, that's all I'll say. But it does have light puzzle aspects. Um, nothing frustrating. The only thing that can, might be frustrating to some people is the boss fights because they can be tough. In fact, the final boss was perfect. It was very hard but not frustrating it took me probably 10 to 15 tries to beat but i was glad like i was like so excited when i beat him um in fact i had to go back and get another ability just to beat him because i was like i cannot <laughs> beat him at this level so i had to go do a little more exploration to find upgrade pieces and uh yeah that, that adds, it's just a great game um i think i spent 30 dollars brand new with a steel box set uh definitely worth the $30 price tag especially physical I will always support physical games I love that this is physical but anyway um, highly recommended uh, it's got a weird name my uh, buddy Stefan neighbor Stefan uh, he's he's great now it's he just looked at the name and laughed and a lot of people look at the name were like what is this game in fact on the ps5 it shows like what other friends play the game you're uh, uh, that you have and zero of my friends have played this and just as many people have probably heard of this game I heard about it like I said on Metal Jesus's channel, but this is one of those like obscure games But definitely a hidden gem. I know that's um, overused quite a bit, but um, If you have a chance to get this physically um, or even digitally ugh, um, I would definitely recommend getting it. It's uh, gets my thumbs up uh, server now